Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Come on, man. Utah Air Guns Custom Shop. I asked Justin, I said, hey, I want a, I want a squirrel thumper. And he goes, I got the perfect idea for you. And I said, oh, okay. He says, nope, we'll see, well, I'll show you and you take a look and you tell me what you think. Well, here it is. You're like, what are we looking at? Well, <clears throat> when you go squirrel hunting, one thing you don't want, we love the crown, we love the traditional stock here at Shoe 1721, but when you get barrel length, you got that 700, that 600, even that 500, you know, nice length on there. 500 is good and great, and, but I thought I wanted something shorter. So here's a 380, 30 cal, 380, 30 cal right here. Now this is the GRS stock, which is kind of new. You got your adjustable cheek piece and your adjustable length of pull. So beautiful how you can adjust it and it's just whatever and you set the gun up for yourself when your hand goes into the stock you're like oh, man that's awesome and uh, I was like well I wonder how many foot pounds I can get out of this guy and we're looking at about 65 foot pounds out of this and we're probably looking at maybe three mags out of it because the reg set at 150 so I kind of I definitely I said to Justin I said I want it over 800 feet per second so I want it over there, and he goes, okay, so they set the reg at 150, and she was shooting, you know, during chronograph numbers earlier, about 814, 812. I think it went from anywhere from 805 to 821, somewhere around there, it did that. But anytime you get a Utah Air Guns custom shop, one thing you know you're going to get is accuracy. You know, you know it's going to be accurate. This is going to be a fun video, because I have the squirrel thumper here, and let's, uh, Let's run this thing through its paces. <laughs> Let's shoot this thing. Okay, here we are at the 50 yard mark. We got the JSB 4475s. We got this uh, Crown Mark II uh, set up in the GRS stock with a 380 30 barrel Utah Air Guns Custom Shop Nexus on top. Oh my. Let's shoot five shots here at 50 and see how she does. You know, 700 shoot probably 700 millimeter Crown. Probably shoots like a 3.8 group and stuff. So now we got a 3.80 barrel, and with uh, here in PA we got squirrel season right around the corner. Uh, I'm looking for the ultimate squirrel gun, and at 65 foot pounds, I like this. This is a squirrel thumper. We'll say. Let's see how she does it at 50. All right. <laughs> that is perfect. You want to talk about a squirrel thumping machine right here. Utah Air Guns, Justin Jacobson, does it again. Well, that's about as great a group as you're ever going to see. And you're talking about a 380 barrel there at 50 yards. Come on, man. Woo! All right, let's see what else we got going on. Okay, well, anytime you get a custom air gun, I'm going to I'll run some chronograph numbers here and see what we get. And I just filled it up to 250. I'm gonna shoot 13 rounds because that's what the mag holds and we're shooting the JSB 4475. So let's just see what they do and let's see. When you just fill it, it'll be interesting to see where we go to. So let's give it a try here. 821. I was seeing typically, you know, when I just fill it, but I was seeing a lot of constant right off at about 2.30. I started seeing 8.14 like that, but let's see what happens. Did we get a reading? I didn't see a flash. Yeah.
Okay, so there was 13. Let me take a quick look here and see where we got to. So that went from, we went from uh, 250 to 200. So that's 13. And give me a while I talk and load here for you guys. I'm going to throw another mag in here and, and see how she does. And we'll walk it down from there. Okay. I don't know if we got a reading that time. There we go. Okay, so there's 26. Take a look there. Now remember with the reg being there, yeah, now we're dropping. So now I just dropped to, I'm at 180. All right. Usually where, you know, you just fill back up is 150 because that's where your reg's at. So I'm sitting there, so that's where I'll shoot a couple more shots and we'll just see how she does. That might be it there. We get a low ball of 798. Now, that might just been what it is. Oh, we're good. And then there's our 798. Let's see if that's it. Well, we're still in there, man. That might be those two 798s. Might be me shooting a little fast. Not giving it time to recover. Let's see what we got here. What do we got here? So it's showing that we got 33 on here. Standard deviation 5.3. And we're at, on the last shot at 812. We're at uh, foot pounds there. I'll bring this over. Ugh. And uh, I think that's excellent. And you see how it shoots at 50 yards and yeah, and I could probably keep right on going here, even some more shots if I wanted to. But uh, when I go squirrel hunting, I basically take three mags anyway. I, I know we're not going to shoot that many. So not that many squirrels. We'll just have three mags. But yeah, the ultimate squirrel gun is here. Okay, here we are at the end of the video. And what did we learn about this Utah Air Guns uh, Custom 30 here, 380 barrel? Crown Mark II GRS stock. There's so many great features about it. It just blew me away. And, you know, when I was sitting at the 200-yard mark, and you're going to see me at the 200-yard mark, uh, I put a playing card down there, cut that at 200 yards. It's a 380 barrel, though. So if you're wondering about distance, you know, I showed you the five-shot group at 50. was perfect, right? But then I went out to 200, and I said, oh, I'll put a pencil down there. So just a uh, number two pencil, 200 yards with this guy right here, and then the playing card. And then I decided, you know what, I'm not done yet. I want to uh, flat broke air gunner. Gonna give him a little shout out. We did his nickel challenge. 
and we shot a nickel at 200 yards and I think it took like 11 shots to get that done but that is a nickel and we back at when I was shooting at the range that day we did have a little bit of wind and uh, that was definitely a challenge take a look at this gun how it comes up though I mean it's perfect you want yourself a nice little squirrel gun for me this is my squirrel gun I know it's 30 cal some of you would be like 30 cal hey I can't thank Utah Air Guns Custom Shop enough beautiful gun really appreciate you guys uh, sending this it's set up perfect this is Rick with Shooter 1721 thanks for watching